Dave Palumbo here, Palumbo's Pythons and Boas, for another installment of Muscle Serpents University. And I know you guys are probably a little disappointed because I haven't done a lot of videos recently, and that's because we moved from New York down to Cape Coral, Florida. It's right south Florida, where all the good weather is and the good humidity is for the snakes. So yeah, right now we're in the makeshift snake room. This is my uh, three-car garage, which will not be housing the snakes eventually. We have a little facility we are building, uh, so you'll have to stay tuned for that uh, tour when that happens. But right now, uh, I figured, you know, we always do ball python stuff, boa constrictor stuff. Let's do something today that's unique, olive pythons. Something that is a passion of mine, something that I really love. I haven't been successful with breeding them yet, but you know, I really only tried once. And last year we had a little disaster. I have a really big female albino, and we put a uh, pet male in with her, and I think he's just too small. You know, I'm thinking boas, the males could be small, the females could be huge. Well, that didn't work so well with the, uh, with the olive pythons because the female actually killed the male. And I think she was going to eat them. I stopped the eating process, but I didn't stop the killing process. And I talked to a couple experts who are experts in the olive python breeding, and they said, well, we've heard that they could be carnivorous, and, uh, or they could be cannibalistic, I should say. And uh, they never had seen it, but, well, I, I, have, I have evidence now to prove that. If anyone ever asked me in 10 years from now, I could say, yes, they are. Uh, so I'm growing the male up. I have, another, I have two males that I'm growing up now. I don't know if this season's going to be big enough or it's going to happen. Uh, but let's let's take a look at the female because I've been talking long enough. Now, she's really cool. She's she's going into shed here. She just ate a big meal. I hadn't fed her for about two and a half, almost three weeks when I was moving down here because I didn't want her to eat before we moved. And she was very hungry the other day. And she took a chunk out of my hand. If you take a close up here, you can see the the, the the remnants. This is from like two weeks ago, and I still have marks here and marks over here a little bit. But it was pretty bruised. My hand was all swelled up. But usually she doesn't bite. Usually she's really good. Um, she unfortunately is, like I said, going to shed, so I don't really want to take her out and bother her because she's 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 usually crystal white. I'll show you the other male I have. I have a male albino as well. You'll see how white they actually look. I love the olive pythons because they have such small scales that their texture is really smooth. Let's look at the let's look at the boy. We'll look at the het male. He's head albino. I just moved him to a bigger cage actually because he was. Um, he was outgrowing the other one. He actually just shed, so he didn't eat last week, but he's he's looking really good. Now, if you look, he looks pretty big. We've gotten him up pretty good since last year. Uh, I think that Jeff, Hart I got these from Jeff Hartwig. I got the males at least from Jeff Hartwig. The female is not. And this guy was so small when I got him last year. He's put on such good size, and I haven't really overfed him. To be honest, I haven't been, you know, power feeding them at all. But just, these, these olives just grow. You don't have to give them a ton of food. And this guy is really tame. He's uh, my wife doesn't trust the olive pythons because we both got bit by the the female before. But this guy has never even snapped at me. He's he's just a really good guy. He just likes to eat a lot and he likes to explore. Once you get him out, he gets a little energized. Let's see if we can get him around my neck here. Okay. He, but he's a good boy and he's head albino. So if we breed him to the female, we could get. 50% albinos, and then we'll get 50%, you know, head albinos. Um, like I said, it, my strategy this year is put them together, but keep an eye on them. Don't leave them overnight together, because I think that that's dangerous. Even though he looks like he can handle himself, he's pretty thick. I figure if I get a few more meals in him before I actually start to try to breed him, I can get him even bigger, because these guys grow at an enormous rate. And he's pretty strong, so I, I think he can handle her. Um, once again, but I'm not gonna leave them together unsupervised overnight, I think it's too dangerous. We'll put him in, we'll see if he breeds her. Um, I have another male, but the other male you'll see is an albino, he's a little small, so um, we're not gonna take a chance with that. But once again, I, I, if you look at, get a close up on this, Amanda, look how small these scales are. It's it's silky smooth. I mean, the, the people take for granted the olive, colored olive pythons, because they're so common, and that's, and that's why most people like the albinos better, but I, I just like the real olive, you know, aspect and these snakes get really long but they don't get super thick as you saw the female in there she's like she's an adult so to me while they need big cages because they're long they don't they don't really they're not hard to handle at all they're just long once again but because they're semi arboreal and if you could tell you could tell by the tail see how long that tail is that's good for tree climbing because they are they have the really long teeth because they eat birds probably in the wild and then get through the feathers and the birds you need the long teeth so when they bite you it, it, it's a it's a 
it's a nice puncture wound. Let's leave it at that. So let's put him back. Let's go look at the um, other male we have, the other albino male, because you can get a good idea of what a albino olive looks like. It's not in shape. And this guy loves to come out. He's really social, this guy. You, you can see how white, and he probably will shed too soon, but he's so white. I mean, that, this is albino olive pipe. And if that's not like a gorgeous snake, I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. I mean, I love boas and I love ball pythons and I love carpets, but to me, albino olive python, that's like one of the nicest looking snakes. And the lighting in here is terrible. It's nighttime here. Uh, I wanted to do this video because I know I'm a little behind in, in the Muscle Serving University videos. But, I mean, look at that. That's a nice, that's a nice looking snake. That head looks like a little dinosaur almost. The red eyes he's got. And once again, people, I think the olive pythons get a bad rap. When they're hungry, they might bite you. And if they, they are food responsive, but once you get them out, they're just sweethearts. At least that's about my experience with them. Um, I know there's always that random snake that's not great, but when they're captive bred, they just, they got great personalities. And once again, I gotta uh, thank Jeff Hartwig because he got, got me some awesome snakes here. And these two males are awesome. He'll probably be ready to breed maybe next year. It's good to have two males because sometimes, you know, uh, you can use the shed from one to inspire the other one to breed the female. And once again, with, with, these, with the female killing the other one, it's nice to have backup. Hopefully, though, we won't have that experience. Uh, if you guys want any information on olive pythons, feel free to contact me at huge285 at AOL.com or you know, like us uh, in the videos below if you enjoy uh, seeing these type of videos. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, this way you don't miss any videos, hit click the subscribe button. And you can always visit Palumbo's Pythons and Boas Facebook page because I post a lot of the videos there and updates and stuff like that. And I'm going to start doing this more regularly. For now, though, I'm Dave Palumbo uh, with Palumbo's Pythons and Boas.